Matilda's training session was closed today to the media and we were supposed to chat to Mary Fowler. However, we were told that towards the end of the training session, she took a knock and then she had to go away for precautionary assessment. And since then, Football Australia have told us that she is all good. It's not ideal preparation for Matilda's, is it? No, it's always heart and mouth kind of situation here. We're all a little bit head shy after what happened with Sam Kerr leading into that opening game, but all good sounds pretty good. So I think the key thing is, is she going to train tomorrow? So I think all eyes will be on Mary to see if she pulls up okay to do the session. On a positive note, we spoke to Caitlin Ford today and she told us that Sam Kerr will definitely take part in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, obviously she was disappointed and we were as well for her to miss that first game. I mean, we've all had it coming for so long and then finally it's there and she wasn't able to be out there with us um, in that game. So we just tried to get around her as much as possible. And I mean, Sam being Sam, she wanted the focus to be on the team and not about her. And um, yeah, she's just doing everything possible to be in the best condition for when she does step back on the pitch. And um, yeah, she'll, she'll definitely be back in this tournament. So how will the Matildas forward line continue to adapt without Sam Kerr? Well, I think they'll take confidence from that first 90 minutes, of course, they had against Ireland. And, and Caitlin Ford alluded to the fact that they did actually get a few opportunities leading into camp to practice without certain key players up front, one being Sam Kerr. So they have had a little bit of practice at this. And now there's a chance Mary Fowler might not be fit. And if she's not fit, who do they replace her with? Yeah, it's thinning out a little bit there. You don't want that many stars, of course, out of, out of the game. But they do have the likes of Alex Chidiak, Emily Van Egmond to come on. And some of those players like Kyra Cooney-Cross can play further forward. So I imagine there'd be a little bit of a reshuffle. Well, tomorrow we'll be back watching the Matildas final session ahead of their game against Nigeria. And we get a chance to see just where Mary Fowler is with regards to her fitness levels. And remember, you can catch it all on the Optus Sport app. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.